hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how to extract data how to make get request to external api in your react application and for the api we will be using this random user generated api it is very easy just go to google and uh, you just need to type here random user api and then the very first link which comes in random user generator this is the api that we will be using in our react application and for the ide we will be using external ide a very easy method in order to create react application which is uh, code sandbox so this is a external ide online ide for rapid web development you can either create angular applications view application and any sort of application and you did not have to create an account just click this button create a sandbox and it will instantly create your react application here you just need to select react here from the list of technologies so it will load the sandbox for the very first time you can see that so on the right hand side you can see that the result here of your and now let me just go to the app.js file and i will delete all the code from and write from scratch here so first line we need to write here we need to import react so import react so let me just create some space so here we can just import react from react and also i will be making a class level component so for that inside curly brackets we will be importing the component as well so now after that we just need to make the class level component so here class app extends component and inside this we will be making our render function so this will display some things on the screen here so it will return a div which will be holding hello world close the div and most importantly we need to also export this component so the very at the bottom just write this line export default app like this and now you will see the hello world printing out on the screen here this is our react application built in just uh, 50 seconds no local development is required so now we just need to make a simple get request for that we just need to declare some state variables so in order to do so we just need to make the constructor constructor function here like this so this will take some properties called as props and we need to call the super function passing these props and uh, we also need to declare some state variables so we can just write here this dot state and here we can declare our states variable first will be the items this will be a array which will be holding the response from the api and the second will be uh, on let me just declare this loading variable loading variable will be false for now because we are not requesting the data from the api for now so this value will be false so this is a boolean variable and now we just need to create a simple function which is a built-in function in react the lifecycle method which is component dead mount so this is a method guys so basically this method executes after the render method has executed for the very first time so then this method will execute here we just need to make a simple fetch request so we will use the fetch api which is built in in the browser here we just need to pass the the external endpoint of the api so if you go to documentation here and if you want to uh, request any user here so it will uh, just click this option how to use and this is the endpoint you can see that guys if you go to this endpoint it will return a json response to you let me just copy this uh, endpoint random user dot me slash api so if you go to this you will see that one result will be returned to you this will contain a results array and in that array you will see various information gender name location city all that stuff also the image also so we will be printing out this image you can see that and now we just need to hook up this on endpoint and pass this inside of a fetch like this oh sorry i think i need to copy that endpoint here copy it and we just need to paste it here and in order to handle this we will be using the dot 10 so it returns a promise so we will be handling the promises by dot 10 
so it will return the response and the very first thing that we need to do we need to convert it into json so we will use the json method and then it will again return a promise we need to now get the response back here like this and now we just need to set the state here so we will call the set state method here and inside this we will set our items to the response which is coming here response dot uh, and inside this there is a re results array you can see that this is an array so we will be just write response dot results and the second is loading so loading we will be initializing it to true so now we have got the data from the api so we will be ass assigning this loading to from false to true so now this is complete guys so now we just need to display this data in our uh, html and of course we are using some kind of bootstrap so you can just go to google and type bootstrap cdn and the very first link which comes in click this and just copy the css here and for including this bootstrap you just need to go to public folder index.html and here you just need to include it so just make a link tag relative style sheet and the href will be equal to the link here that's it close the tag here now this is complete just save your work click on the auto save option and again go to app.js and now we can delete this hello world instead we want uh, to get the data so here inside our uh, uh, render function we need to declare some variables here first of all so we will declare the variables which is uh, items comma sorry inside curly bracket sorry items comma loading and then this we, we will be getting this by the state so this is a method by which you can just get the variables of the state in our html so this dot state we are using this curly brackets we are getting the items and the loading so first of all we will check that our loading parameter if it is false so now we will check here like this if it is false then we will be returning a response to the web page like this loading dot 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 close the div here like this and after that we just need to write uh, else here in the else block if it is if the loading is true if we got the data from the api in the else block we will write our code like this so we will have the div here we will write the data let's suppose data data like this and now if i refresh this hopefully it will see the data here because we are making a request if i refresh this you will see that data is coming because we have made a request to the api inside our component did mount method here so it has converted it to json and now let me just make a simple mistake here let me just pass this so now it will load the loading here because it has failed to have you can see that now it is having some some kind of error here that's it so now let me just change this to again api so you will see that it will change from loading to loading to data like this and now we just need to get the data here display the image here of the user so we can oh sorry inside our this now so inside this we can just have an image here image tag the source will be equal to so let me just show you the json response guys really quickly so inside this results here inside this array there is a property called as picture so need, we need to display this property this medium picture if i click this you will see the user picture and now in order to work for work with arrays we just need to first of all declare our div tag and let me assign a class name of container this is a bootstrap class close the div and inside this we will use the for each or oh, sorry loop here map function so inside double braces we will type items dot map we will use the map function and here we just need to write uh, item arrow function like this 
so here we will be having our list item so inside the list item or image we can just display image source inside double braces we will write here uh, item dot picture dot medium and for also we need to assign an alt attribute so this will be let me have uh, item dot let me just display the name of the person item dot name dot first item dot name dot first and let me just close the image tag right now so now you will see the image here if I refresh it you will see that guys it is displaying the random image here you can see that from the API and also we can just have the name of the person in the heading item dot name dot first mm, what is oh we need to bind this inside a class here a div So this is the way by which you can just uh, extract data from external API guys like this we are displaying the image here so in this way you can just dis display more information or uh, if you want if you go to documentation here you can even request multiple images at one time so if you go to this here requesting multiple users here like this so you can just pass this property of results let's suppose I want to display 50 users so it will return the results of 50 users here you can see that now we just need to change this endpoint to include this parameter which is results so I will go to the application and I will provide this parameter like this if I refresh it you will see that it will display 50 photographs you can see that you can even open this inside your browser this is a full address to the react web application which is there on code sandbox so this is a very advantage of using code sandbox now I can just zoom in here so this is exactly 50 photographs here you can see that you can change this number to any number of your choice in your application let's suppose I change this to 100 or 500 it totally depends upon you so if you refresh this so it will take some time but it will load 500 photographs at once so it is transpiling the modules just wait now you can see that so in this way guys we have used the random user API to request multiple photographs of random users from the API in your react application with the help of fetch API. So thanks very much for watching this video.